Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. Friends, Psalm 108 is a little bit unusual. It is a a repeat composition from portions of Psalm 57 and portions of Psalm 60. So the, the psalmist, in this case, David, pledges continued devotion to Yahweh, and he solicits Yahweh's help in times of war. This is the, uh, the same themes from the other two psalms that I mentioned. So it is um, an interesting psalm in that respect, in that the authors of Scripture, or the authors, in this case, the compilers of the psalms, felt that this was noteworthy enough to include in the canon um, even though the, the bulk of it had already been revealed in two other psalms. So let's read now Psalm 108. A song, a psalm of David. My heart, O God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music with all of my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph, I will partial out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah is my scepter, Moab is my wash basin, and on Edom I toss my sandal. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God, you who have rejected us and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. So, obviously, a war martial type theme contained within this. It's, uh, as the prefix says, a psalm of David. And it begins with these words, My heart, O God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music with all of my soul. So this opening commitment to praise is very Davidic, very David-like. It's um, consistent with many psalms. Then he says um, these poetic words, Awake, harp and lyre, I will awaken the dawn. And so this phraseology could be referring to early praise and worship offered morning by morning, I will awaken the dawn. Uh, The awake, harp and lyre could be referring to spiritual awakening. In the area in which we live, there was a powerful um, youth movement started about 20 years ago called Awaken the Dawn. And, of course, that title was taken from this psalm. Verse 3 is a pledge made to praise Yahweh among unbelievers. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. And so this idea of exalting the name of the Lord among the nations of the Goyim is a testimony of sorts, this pledge to give testimony to Yahweh. The Lord's matchless love is extolled, verse 4, for great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. And then the prayers for help begin in verse 6. Save us and help us with your right hand, so that those you love may be delivered. And the Lord uh, responds prophetically through the psalmist in verse 7. God has spoken from his sanctuary. And then the next portion is in quotation marks. In triumph, I will partial out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkot. Of course, these are places in Israel. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. And Judah is my scepter. So these are prophetic declarations. Uh, the Lord is, is essentially decreeing his dominion over Israel. 
And then God also declares uh, sovereignty over Israel's neighboring enemies, but in different wording. Listen, verse 9. Moab is my wash basin. On Edom, I toss my sandal. Over Philistia, I shout in triumph. And so David then asked the Lord where he is and where's his help in times of war. David speaking in verse 10, who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God, you who have rejected us and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. Friends, I wish that the armies of our country would get that same revelation, that the Lord is the one who must help us against our enemies with our armies, because human help is worthless, regardless of the technology involved. Without the Lord's help and blessing and sustaining power, uh, the armies of this world will fail. And David knew that truth 3,000 years ago. The psalm ends with a faith decree, declaring ultimately victory with God's help. Verse 13, with God, we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. So the moral of that story, if you want to put it that way, is David commits to praise uh, Yahweh. He's um, going to praise him before believers and before unbelievers. The Lord's matchless love is mentioned appropriately, and David expresses his love and devotion toward the Lord. Then he cries out for help, that he would be able to look to the Lord for help and defense in times of war. And the Lord um, responds that he is, in fact, owner and defender of Israel, and he declares sovereignty over Israel's neighboring enemies. So, Lord, we ask for your help not only in times of war, but in times of peace. Lord, we as individuals need you for ourselves and for our loved ones. Lord, we do offer praise to you today, and we make the commitment to worship you and to sing and make music with all of our souls. But Lord, we need your help. We need your help for our country. We need your help uh, to turn our country's hearts toward you. Lord, um, we don't want our armies railing against human enemies without your help. Lord, there are human enemies out there. But God, with you, no enemy shall triumph over us. Help us, Lord, be our defender now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.